Good morning, you beautiful motherfuckers. How the hell are you? By God, it's fucking Friday. Woo! Somebody asked me about my teeth. Can't remember your name. I can't remember. I'm terrible. My bottom ones? This is the one bad one I have. I got, uh huh. It still it has a cavity in it, but I got seven of them down there still. Uh, and I had a partial plate made in the bottom, and I can't wear it. Uh, I, I don't think that it'll fit me right until I had till my top gum quits uh, shrinking. When it decides to quit shrinking, and everything finally heals the hell up, then maybe my bottom partial might fit me. But until that happens, nothing's nothing's just staying permanently secure. Uh, and man. I'll tell you what, I thought that I was going to do something, and I was pretty excited about it. I thought maybe it was going to kind of sort of work for me. Yeah, I've been kind of waiting to do it, and I was really, really excited to try it. And I was really hoping that that was going to make my dentures fit better. And let me tell you what, boy, did I fuck up. Because as you can see, I'm making another video without any fucking teeth, so it's Toothless Friday, everybody. Woo. I don't know why. I, I made a video and put it on Facebook called A Toothless Thursday. It was fucking hilarious. It got a lot of a lot of response from it. Uh, maybe I'll post it on here just for relevance. You guys can go back and watch it. So you don't have to go on Facebook and try to find it. Uh, but anyhow. I, uh, my, because my gum keeps shrinking. And because... I didn't want to get back to the dentist until my gums quit shrinking and have another soft lining done. Like, I, I just, I didn't want to do it because it makes your dentures taste like shit. Like, I hate the taste that it, that it makes your dentures taste like. So, I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to be a little proactive about this and just kind of just chill out and I'll just glue the bitches in and that'll be fine. Son of a bitch, look at them behind. This is, this is, this is how I live where people spread shit on fields. Ugh, I love it. Love the smell of manure in the morning. Uh, this is the valley down by my house. Uh, I live in central Pennsylvania. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're up to 20 degrees today. It was like 15 when I got up this morning. Uh, wall cabin there. It's beautiful. I don't know. I love it here. I love Pennsylvania. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But anyhow, back to the Toothless Friday. <laughs> oh, here's, there's a dead deer. But here's the farm where the guys, this is Liner's farm. They're awesome guys. They farm the shit out of shit. <laughs> is that a word? Shit out of shit? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, this is beautiful Bald Eagle Valley. Gotta love it, man. Just absolutely fucking. I, I love it down here so much. I'm so glad to be home. Uh, anyhow, I, uh, I I got this stuff, and I even talked about it on a video where I said I was gonna try it out. Maybe I'd do a video on it. So I might do a little more, bit more, and I don't know. I might do a little bit more of a re, like a uh, review on the shit. But it's that fucking denture reline. That, that uh, reline denture shit you can buy. It's on Amazon for like five or six dollars. It's that fucking cheap ass fucking garbage that you can buy at Walmart. That's supposed to be a soft relining. It's called like re reline it or some shit like that. Like the directions are very, very specific. Where you have to put them in the freezer for 30 seconds or something like that. Or three minutes. I think it's three minutes. You put the liquid in the powder in the freezer for three minutes and then you pull it out mix it all together and let it sit for 30 seconds mix it up again like i read the directions so much that i can probably read the directions to you like i'm not looking at it i don't have the box with me i threw it the fuck away i will never use that fucking garbage ever again i don't know if the kit that i got was old which is possible it, it could have happened i don't know but anything that says that it's fucking flammable and don't use near sparks, I really don't want that in my mouth. I'm not going to put a firecracker in my mouth. Why the fuck would I use a firecracker to reline my fucking denture? Right? So, 
I followed this shit to a fucking T. Like, I'm almost positive said, put it in the, the freezer for three minutes, mix it up, let it sit for 30 seconds, mix it up again, let it sit for three minutes, pour it in, uh, and cut out any loose extra shit. So, I did that. I followed the directions to whatever the fuck it was that they exactly fucking said. And, man, that was... It was one of the worst decisions I ever made in my entire life. Like, maybe I... <laughs> Using heroin was probably one of the most fucking worst decisions I ever made in my life. Using denture short fit, or not denture short fit. Denture short fit looks like it might be legit. But that denture reline shit, that's probably top five. Top five worst mistakes. <laughs> I'm probably being a little dramatic here, but in today's world, what else would you expect? Right? Come on now. Of course we gotta be dramatic. We're trying to fucking YouTuber. Be a YouTuber. So we gotta be a little dramatic. Right? So maybe we say top three. Top three biggest mistakes. It was awful, guys. Not only did it make my dentures taste like fucking garbage again. Not only did it taste like I was sucking on a tampon that was soaked in fucking Chanel fucking 53. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, or fucking Britney Spears asshole fucking cologne. I, I don't know. I'll tell you what, it tasted like fucking shit. And then it didn't set up right. It didn't set in there right at all. Like, uh, I got a little bit of help. Someone told me to... I can't remember your name. Oh my God, I'm so terrible. Chick from, uh... The Auburn Chick. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. You watch this and... Kick me in the asshole. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I can't remember your name. I'm so I'm like I'm going through a lot. I can't remember shit. No excuse. Sorry. Uh, she said not to put it on the top where the roof of your mouth is. She said make sure you only put a little bit down in the bottom and it'll set up. Now I don't know if this stuff was old or what the problem was, but it wouldn't spread. It turned into fucking bubble gum, like a bubble gum weld shit. Like it was so weird. And I finally got it to set up where I kind of needed it at. And I stuck it in my mouth. And I bit down. I held it in there for like six minutes. Guys, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even fit in my mouth. I, <laughs> I did everything to a fucking tee the way it exactly told me to do it. And it looked ridiculous in there. It was all lumpy and bumpy. It wouldn't stay in my mouth. It felt ridiculous. And then to top it off, it like melted into my old soft fitting. So, I couldn't even scrape it the fuck out and use new. Like, I couldn't. It's, it took out my old soft fitting. So, now I'm back to my original fucking denture that was too big for me four months ago. That's what I have now. I have a denture that's too big for me that wouldn't fit me three or four months ago. That's what I got. That's what denture reline it gave me or reline it. Whatever the fuck that garbage is called. It's in like a bluish greenish box. You can buy it on Amazon for $5. Do not waste $5. Give it to fucking make a wish. If you want to blow $5 that bad or $10, whatever it is, just go outside, get a fucking Zippo, catch that motherfucker on fire because you're going to waste your fucking money. Unless you get a good pack or you fuck up the directions and it actually works for you, congratulations. But I guarantee you one thing, it will never fucking ever go inside of my dentures ever again. No fucking way. That stuff was complete fucking trash. I will never use it. If I need anything done with my dentures, guess what? Go into my fucking dentist. It's that simple. He's an expert. I'm a truck driver. I don't know anything about this fucking garbage. I don't know anything about this shit. I, I don't know nothing about it. I'm a fucking complete retard. I don't know nothing about it. And, and I really wish that I wouldn't. Because I was able to get by. Like, I could eat a deer steak. A venison steak. I could eat it. No problem. Uh, I could eat a fucking New York strip. Any, any type of meat, I could eat it. Fine. I just had to glue them in because they wouldn't stay in right. And they were getting a little big, so that's why I thought I'd, I'd try it out. You know? It's like the old 44 Club. Try it out. Not the 44 Club. What the fuck's the name of it? Four Strokes Club. That's it. And, uh... Jesus Christ. That's how much YouTube I watch. Fucking clown. Uh... But yeah, yeah, I'll never, I'll never use that stuff again. It was absolutely awful. It didn't set up right in my, in my, I mean, I'm telling you, I followed it to it. I mean, I did everything 
exactly as it said. My wife was over my shoulders, making sure I did not fuck this up. And and the part that got me was how it like embedded itself into my old soft lining. Like it ate a hole through the soft lining that the denture that the dentist put in my 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 uh, my dentures. Like it ate a fucking hole through it. And I, I can't fucking believe it did that. So, but yeah, that's how I fucked up my dentures, guys. Yeah, it was fucking beautiful. Now I got no fucking teeth. So now I'm a fucking Mikey fucking toothless hillbilly for a fucking pencil tucky stuck without a fucking denture until I can get into the fucking dentist. Or I thought about buying denture short fit to try it out. But with Christmas here right now, I don't really want to spend... $50 on myself. I'd rather spend $50 on my dog, even though I don't even have a dog. But I would still spend $50 on anything but myself. I don't know. I like that shade across everything. That's where my mirror, look how sunny out it is. It's gorgeous, you know. We're up to 18 degrees. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's fucking cold. Now that we're moving, I'm sure it's dropped a couple degrees <laughs> but I don't know let me guys, let me know what you guys think was you ever going to consider using this stuff have you used it in the past uh, do you know anybody else that had a fucking horror story like this was anything like that before uh, or are you just you're an intelligent person and you knew better not to try it <laughs> should have been me I could have done that I should have did that and then yesterday, yesterday during Thanksgiving, guess what I did, like a cool guy? I decided that I wanted I wanted to go to Thanksgiving to see my family with my fucking teeth in. So I filled that motherfucker in with some uh, with some denture shit, that denture ad adhesive. I decided, well, I'll just put a whole bunch in there and it'll, it'll glue right up, right? Right? That'll work, right? It did. Believe it or not, it actually worked. Problem is that it made... It, my mouth, I felt like I had a mouthful of fucking Elmer's glue in my mouth that didn't set up all the way and it dried halfway through. It was disgusting. When I tried to get them out, like it, it, the glue, it was so thick in there that it didn't fucking dry all the way in the back. <laughs> fucking disgusting. What a fucking idiot. You know, fucking anything to make myself feel better. You know, being around my family, I wanted to have my fucking teeth in and not look like a fucking homeless fucking jack-off. You know, I thought, well, I'll show, them. I'll show my family. I'll come there with my teeth in. You know, look at me. Look at him go. Look at that smile. Wow, he's amazing. You know, I didn't want him to watch me fucking chew my fucking food up with my fucking hands and my gums and my lips and my tongue. And my... <laughs> Jesus Christ, but yeah, yeah, if that stuff worked for you, congratulations, man, you saved yourself an assload of money or an assload of time, because it's fast, it doesn't take long, I'll tell you right now, going to the dentist and having it done, I've heard people say that it costs like $200 to go to the dentist and have a soft reline, I'm hoping it doesn't cost me that much, my dentist said that he will fix my dentures for the rest of my life as long as I come every at least once or twice a year. He'll fix them for free forever. So, <clears throat> hopefully, I'll let you guys know because I called him this morning and made, uh, I left a message. Hopefully, they'll call me back. I don't know if they're in today, being Black Friday and the day after Thanksgiving. They might not be home. Or, yeah, home. They might not be in. I don't know. Uh, our rifle season, Pennsylvania rifle season, comes in on Monday. So, it's like a national holiday, Pennsylvania holiday, in Pennsylvania, because people go hunting the first day. Like, they even take the day off at school, some banks close, <laughs> some stores close, and other places, like butcher shops, and people that process deer, they really benefit from it. So, you know, it's a win-win for a lot of people. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say on this subject. I hope I answered anybody's questions. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Leave me a comment, any thoughts whatsoever, or you just want to say hi. Say hi. You know, if you dislike this in any way, tell me why. 
tell me why I'm an idiot. Just don't assume that I'm some fucking idiot that don't know nothing. You know, how many people can get the coordinates of a place and drive a fucking 48-foot trailer to it? Not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. But, you know, I can't find a T-bone up a fucking cow's ass either. So we all have our parts to play. Just because you think you're smarter than me doesn't make you smarter than me. You might be, though. So who fucking knows? What am I even saying? I only got beard. Sexy. And I got my Penn State jersey on. This is the Sean Lee jersey without the numbers because they faded off. That's how long it's been since Sean Lee paid, played at Penn State. He plays for uh, the Cowboys now, and he's hurt. Like, even now, I hate the Cowboys. I don't really hate the Cowboys. I just don't like the Cowboys. They're 45. No. There's just, he's got a number there, 45, dummy. What number is he in the Cowboys? Fuck, I don't know. I told you I'm an idiot. Uh, I, I still, I like to watch where the Penn State guys go. Uh, I'm not a huge Penn State fan, but it's local for me. I'm going right past the campus right now. Like, I'm driving right past Beaver Stadium. Let's see if we can get a shot of it. It's right, right there. I'm looking right at it. Hopefully you can see it. That's the football stadium. That's Penn State Stadium. Right there. Right here's Penn State Hospital. But right there is Beaver Stadium. It's right there. That's where they get 110,000 people at every Saturday. That's where they play football at. Right here's the hospital. And I don't know if you can see over there with the sun or not, but over there is a place called Tussie Mountain. It's a big ski place. Everybody goes skiing. Uh, this is Happy Valley. This is Beaver Valley. This is the home of the fucking Penn State uh, mountain lions. Whatever the fuck they are, lions. Whatever the hell they are. Uh, my mom works for the campus. Uh, she's about to retire in the next couple years. My grandfather... Uh, Claire Merritt, he was a uh, a welder. He was an amazing, amazing guy. Over there's the where they play basketball, and there's the football stadium. The Jordan Center's right there, and then there's the basketball, or the football place. Hopefully you guys can see that. But my pop, he was a welder at Penn State, Claire Merritt. He was awesome. He was an amazing dude. He, he uh, yeah, graduated. He uh, retired from Penn State, and then my uh, grandmother, Betty Merritt, she uh, she was an amazing woman too, and she uh, she retired from Penn State. So I mean Penn State, and then my uncle Al, or yeah, my uncle Wayne, he worked, and I don't know if he ever retired before he passed away or not, but he worked there, and he may have even retired. I'm not, I can't remember. He passed away so long ago now, but Penn State has been a big part of my family, and they went through a lot of shit. And I'm not saying the right thing didn't happen, but. It's been long enough now that, you know, hopefully things are going to be much better for them. Uh, next year is going to be exciting because it's going to be like a re rebuilt team with a new quarterback and stuff. So, Trace McSwirly is going to be moving on. You know. Yeah. This is State College, Pennsylvania. It's dead smack in the center of PA. So, Wild Bill, I hope you like my video. Tried to get a little bit of everything in here. You have a good fucking holiday, dude. I hope everybody had a beautiful Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to upload this right fucking now. So, let me know what you guys think. Now that archery season's over, we got two weeks of rifle season coming up. Maybe I can get back into posting more videos and talking to you guys about what's going on. So, I really appreciate everything you guys... I, 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 my video I posted yesterday has 40 views on it already. That's not a whole lot, but that's a lot for me, I guess. So that's awesome. Uh, if I posted it on Facebook, it would have a couple of hundred views. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't, I don't really care. I'm just doing this because I want to. So, all right, everybody. This is Route 322, if anybody was wondering. Headed towards Harrisburg. You guys are awesome. You're great. Please subscribe. Please like. Ever, ever, like, seriously, I can't say enough. I've really enjoyed doing this. And I'm going to keep talking about it. You guys seem to give a shit and like the, you know. I don't know. I don't know if anyone actually gives a shit. Like, it's, it's interesting to see what's going on. But that's how I fucked up my tensions. I'm an idiot. I admit it. At least I admit it. At least I fucking admit it. 
there's a lot of fucking ignorant assholes out there that will not admit it. So, <laughs> sun's killing me. I need a drink. Peace! I don't know. I always want to say peace at the end of every video. Fucking idiot. I I'm done calling myself an idiot. Have a great day. It's Friday. Woo!